Hello and welcome to Budget Model Rallies and I finally get to make a video again. So today I'm going to be testing how much weight Hornby 040s will pull. So I've got three different kinds here. I've got the Steam Loco that is effectively the Caledonian Bell except this one's in black BR. The one everyone on this channel knows, the Hornby Bagnall Shunter. And the boxy Hornby 040 that came with the Hornby Army train set. And I have all of these wagons here to be testing and a set of scales so we can work out exactly how much weight each loco is pulling. So the first one I'm going to test is the Caledonian Bell. So to start with I'm going to add the coaches in two. So let's start with this one and they weigh 96 grams. Let's put them on. And you will see up in the top of the screen that I've got a constant tally of how much weight each train consists is working on. And the controller I'm going to be using is the AGW that we always use. So as you can see, this O4 row will quite happily pull two wagons weighing 96 grams. And back to the beginning. And just to say this track is completely flat on a table. Right, so adding the next consist, another two, that weigh 99 grams. Let's put them on the track. Connect them up to the train. Oh, almost knocked the bear over. And then, again, you can see that this form the 040 will quite happily pull four coaches which you can see the total up there because I don't do maths on holidays right adding another consist this one weighs 105 grams so adding another 105 grams to the consist and Small amount of wheel spin at the start, but it is happily pulling them around the circuit. As you can see here, just coming back up, happily pulling them around the circuit. So, adding now another 96 grams. small amount of wheel spin again at the beginning but after that it pulls them perfectly fine and as you can see they're just coming around here again pulls them without trouble right adding another two coaches which weigh 98 grams get them on the track here and a lot of wheel spin at the start, but once it's going again, it is happily pulling them around, as you can see. And I'm going to keep adding things until it no longer starts. Right, and I've just got one lonely coach by itself, so let's put that on. And this coach, actually we'll do, yeah, we'll do a coach, and that weighs 49 grams. Again, total up on the top of the screen. And quite a bit of wheel spin at the start, struggling a bit, but it's still going around. And it does look pretty cool pulling this many coaches. I'll run it around again just so you can see. Really struggling, but it is doing it. There you go. I don't think this is going to be able to have much more on here. So I'll add this cattle wagon which weighs 48 grams. I think this will probably be it for this loco. No, it is still going. So this loco is happily pulling 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 wagons. 
which is pretty good. 12 wagons weighing a total of what's up there, because I don't do maths on holidays. It is really well spinning around that corner there. So I'm going to add one more wagon, and I don't think it'll start. So let's add another coal wagon weighing 39 grams. Let's see if it actually starts. Nope. So the limit for this loco is what is up there on the screen. And we will, at the end, when I've done all the locos, we'll compare them all. So now on to the next look. All right, so next up is the Hornby Bagnall Shunter, and we'll see how much that pulls. This one's a bit heavier, actually quite a bit heavier, a lot heavier, so I think it'll pull more. So starting off again, 98 grams. Alright, let's add on another coal wagon weighing 40 grams. And it is pulling it. Which is pretty good. And you can see back to the beginning. Just get it around here. I don't think this one will be able to pull much more than another coal wagon though. So, another coal wagon weighs 39 grams. Putting it on the end here, which is out of shot because that's how long it is. And here we go. And it's not going anywhere. So, the limit for this loco is what's up there. And again, we'll review them at the end. Alright, so the last loco we'll be testing today is this Hornby 040 out of the Army train set. So, starting it off, as usual, with a set of two, which weighs 97 grams, 100 grams. So, 105 grams, 97 grams. Forty-eight grams, because I don't think it will pull another two. And just bring it back in shot for you, so you can see the wheel spin at the beginning. And that one is not getting anywhere; it's just wheel spinning. So the limit for that one is what's up there. And now I'm gonna look at the scores and come back to you when I have them. So these are the results. The Caledonian Bell type loco will pull 630 grams and 13 wagons or coaches in our case. Uh, the Bagnall Shunter pulled 714 grams and 15 wagons or coaches. And this one out of the army train set pulled 447 grams and 9 wagons. So the best loco for pulling power is the Bagnall followed by the Caledonian Bell type loco, and in last place are all of the representing train set locos. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked this kind of video, um, feel free to leave in the comments uh, what more locos you would like us to test. For example, big steam locos, big diesels, anything like that. And hopefully from now on we will be able to get out some more regular videos. So remember to subscribe, and hit the bell notification so that you can receive emails every time that we upload a video. Hi, thanks for watching the video and for the nice comments. Uh, click on the left for a previous video in this series. Click on the right for another video you might enjoy. And please don't forget to click to subscribe, like, comment, etc. Thanks again.